is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a bit of an update slash kind of just talk it through kind of video we got like a short little room tour as well it's just kind of a uh just kind of updates man just kind of updates and letting you guys know what's up and kind of taking you through some different things i wanted to show off and just say uh, you know one of those videos so today man we're just gonna hang out hopefully you guys do enjoy thought about doing a live stream if you guys want to see a live stream maybe we can do that this week or something like that but today man we do have sort of an update video as you guys can see we do have the elimination chamber still set up i still do want to do some sort of elimination chamber matchup if you guys want to see that let me know down below uh, i just don't want to waste it being up i know we did it for the elimination chamber video and stuff you know we reviewed the show we talked about it and everything like that that video kind of fell through as far as the match is concerned but i thought about you know still doing something anyways i did want to showcase this because i don't think that we have taken a look at it but here is the updated arena for the upcoming mdt live episodes so you guys can see the pink ropes are here here we got me and Brad over here on commentary, which is really beautiful to see. Only the one, so this is something that also, I also run, ran into again. This video is just going to be about a bunch of topics. We're going to talk it through, just kind of hang out a little bit here. So stick with me. So you guys will notice we only have the one commentary table, and that is because I can't find my other one. It's somewhere in one of these in one of these boxes or or something. I don't know exactly where it happened, but I lost my Spanish announce table. I have the cover. I have the monitor. I have the chairs. I have everything for my Spanish commentary team, but I do not have the table itself. So I'm going to have to order one of those from ringside and, you know, get one of those going. But we do have everything set up here for MDT Live. And I guess I'm just going to roll with the one announce table for the episode. I don't know. It'll depend on if I can get that in before, you know, we get filming started and things like that. Or filming wraps up, I guess I should say. But here is the updated arena. We have this set up. Don't mind these Rey Mysterio figures. These Rey Mysterio figures actually uh, just won't fit on the Rey Mysterio shelf over there, so I'll have to get into that, but here is the updated crowd. I added multiple members to the crowd, and just in the short stint that this arena has been updated, like with the uh, with the updated crowd and stuff and adding members to it, the crowd has already fell over right there. This is the money spot where it always falls over. Already has fell, I think, three times, so that's just insane, but we do have the AEW pop-up stage all set up, which looks really good. I just went with the double or nothing because it has the pink lights, and you guys can see I have my pink lights going so I thought it, it kind of tied in pretty cool there so if you guys want the money shot you know from from far away you know you got your up oh, yeah that, that looks pretty freaking cool there so we have that but uh yeah I think I'm, I, I think I'm gonna use this stage for the next episode of MDT live I think it'd be kind of cool it's a lot more sturdy than that garbage WWE one from a couple years back very flimsy very garbage this one has a lot better sturdiness to it it actually you know the superstars can stand on there I think you could do some spots you could even get up here maybe a little bit uh nothing standing on the thing unless i put some cardboard there but i like it i think it's cool i think we should probably add a curtain or something back there because you can actually like see all the way through to the wall back there so that is something but i like the way the lights look they do look like they're lit up i thought about putting an mdt live logo over that or something and i don't like that you can see the aew logos you know especially if you know if we're doing an mdt show if we're doing an aew figure match then it wouldn't matter but since it is an mdt show i need to either cover that with black like construction paper or or, or or MDT logos, right? So that, that may be something we do. I also added the steel steps right here so that the superstars can get down. You know, I'm not connecting this straight to the ring and I don't have a platform long enough, but you guys can see you come down and get in the ring. And I even made the joke to my brother. I'm like, you know what? Just just screw it. Let's just put an elimination chamber on MDT Live this, this episode and just run with it. But that was obviously a joke. We just wrapped up Hell's Gate closely to this episode, so that wouldn't make a lot of sense, would it? But anyways, moving right along. I did get some stuff in the mail that will show off in this video as well, but I also fixed up the room a little bit. I, I did some rearranging, so you guys know I do have my mock AEW collection over here, and I added the uh, I ordered a ringside defender for my Darby Allen 1 of 5,000, so that is actually on the way, and uh, we actually have another figure that I got in that I'm going to show off that I'm really excited about, but on top of that, we did move some stuff around, so these little things right here, these little plushies right here, I think they were at Toys R Us. On one of the first toy hunts on our on our channel's history we got uh we got some of these so we got the john cena there and then we have the rest of them over here we have the aj styles the seth rollins and the finn balor and then i i, I just decided to hang up my symbiote spider-man retro card marvel legends right here just because i had it and i didn't have any other place to put it so uh there was a calendar here from 2020 and i left it on december 2020 for over a year now and i figured why not you know just go ahead and stick this here you know it can just be a placeholder and then i wanted to hang those plushies up because i 
cleaned out this closet. I also got to hang up my, you know, my fantasy football championship belt from a few, oh my god, and it fell. That's just, uh, that's just excellent. So we can, you know, it's it's because I need a nail. I'm holding it up with a thumbtack. Yeah, I'll fix that in just a moment. Anyways, I cleaned out this closet. And we have that house in here. So there used to be, there used to be like this, like storage unit kind of deal. It's probably going to be really crappy as far as the focus is concerned because it's so dark. But I had a storage unit here with a bunch of old paints and stuff in it. So I cleaned those out. Here's one of the drawers and then here's the other drawer. So it has a bunch of basic figures in it that actually I could use for crowd members. So that was really cool to find. There was a bunch of basics and head sculpts in there that I forgot I had. So that was really cool to find. So I went ahead and got the drawers out and we cleaned that up so I got some wrestling buddies in there I did put the house in here these are a bunch of like random you know extra AEW figures that I have we have some uh, NECA down here we also have uh, some more Marvel Legends and stuff like that that we've picked up just kind of sitting around just because I don't really have a place to put them at the moment but we did put the house in there and there's actually a lot more room right here to actually open the drawers up so that's really cool there but we actually organized the top of the closet as well I don't know how well you guys can see up in there but we got a bunch of like mock figures and things like that some ultimate editions and stuff like, just random stuff man so we went through and we kind of got all that taken away got the Kobe poster back here. I really went through this closet, really got that all done, so that was nice to see. So after cleaning up that closet, this garbage bag right here is actually where I put all the paints and trash that was, it was really old paint and it was really garbage paint, man. Like paint that was like unusable. It's like the folk art stuff. You guys know anything about folk art? It's fucking terrible. So there is that, but uh, what else did I want to say? I wanted to say some other things. Oh yeah. So the AEW figure collection has spilt over from not only this back shelf, I don't even know how many mock figures I have now, but now it has went over onto this table and not only that, but filled up the hallway closet. So we are, uh, we're desperately we're, we're, we're out of room, man. We're definitely out of room here. I don't even know where the hell to put nothing no more. My closet's full. All the other closets are full. Help me, Jesus. Nonetheless, collection grind still goes, man. We got, we got lots of work to do. And that takes us over here to where we find the official MDT figure, man. Look at this. So you guys know that this is the figure that actually was in GCW. If you guys don't know G Natty's channel over there, this is the exact figure that was used over there. So I, I bought the custom off of them. I figured that it was something that I had to have in my possession, you know, on my shelf. I think that it, it's great. I like the head sculpt and everything. Let's we'll see if we can get like a good shot of it. Hold up. So here's the figure. There's the head sculpt. It's a pretty solid head sculpt. I think it's a, a Psycho Sid head sculpt. It's like a Sid Vicious head, you know, the smiley, and then of course the hair shaved off. And they gave me my haircut there. I think it's like a Seth Rollins body. Got a lot of the tattoos going on. I do have more tattoos than this. You know, you got my Kobe tattoo right there. It, it, I mean, it's very badass. Like, uh, I hate that it doesn't I have my my left side over here because my left arm my left arm is more full than my right arm i'm pretty sure but this is still super badass man i i love this figure i still a huge shout out to lucas for for this figure and angelo and everybody that made it so you got the pink over here very sick my damn toys knee pad this is the logo that appears at the end of every video so you got all the blues going on the yellow the pink and the black this is the figure that i want to have mass produced man so if you guys would buy this figure or want me to see if i can and go about like maybe getting this head cast it and then somehow replicating this figure and maybe doing just like a pre-order system and maybe setting it up where you know we we take pre-orders and then however many are made that's it you know that's it that's as many that are made and after that they're gone forever if you guys are interested in something like that please let me know down in the comment section but got my wing tattoo on there very beautiful that wing tattoo bro this wing tattoo in real life shout out to my tattoo artist theo dude is insanely talented but that tattoo took like 12 what, 10 to 12 hours to do so he started down here and he went all the way up bro it is a beautiful piece it's probably my favorite tattoo if not it's definitely in my top three favorite tattoos probably it 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 hurt like a bitch man i, I it was it was crazy like uh, i was ready to be done with it but i want to fill up both arms i want to get my chest done i want to get you know i think i'm gonna go lower left leg i'm thinking like my whole left leg down here from knee down my both of my arms and then my chest for tattoos but and then i'll be i'll be all done there but this is really sweet right here i love these logos i helped him design this you know i came up with the design of the gear and then i i made the the, the decals for him or the logos of the decals so you got my my instagram handle there at my damn toys with the nice colors and the zebra and the you know the my, the font of course and then you have the beautiful mdt zebra stripe logo on the butt there this is a beautiful piece man this is awesome i don't know if i'll use this in the pick fed or what the case will be but i'm just so glad to have it in the collection because it's just a staple right and we do have the uh you know the gronk mania jacket 
jacket that kind of looks like the channel with the blue and the zebra. And it does say Gronk Mania on there. I'll probably get some like fabric paint or something and paint over it. But it's still a beautiful piece and maybe we can get somebody to iron on an MDT logo or something. I, I don't know. We'll play around with that. But I definitely wanted to show this off in the video and uh, you know do a quick little review of it, man. What a beautiful piece. I just, I just love it. I think it's fantastic. I think it does have my likeness. And maybe we can get somebody to like 3D print a better head sculpt. I don't know. I just need to know numbers. I need to know, you know, uh, if anybody would be interested in a figure like that and getting it. I want to get it mass produced for everybody and make sure that it's good quality and stuff. I don't know. I guess I'd use Mattel parts over Jazz Wares. You know, get some double jointed arms over the single jointed. Have the nice logos on there. Have all the different details. But I think that pretty much wraps up today's video, man. Again, I just wanted to hang out a little bit, discuss some different things that's going on. Kind of an update video there and show off this beautiful custom MDT in wrestling gear figure. So that is it right there, man. But I think that is going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all your thoughts on everything I've mentioned in the video. If you guys are following along, just be sure to, you know, rapid comment or, or leave me one big comment with the responses to everything, and I'd really appreciate it, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and don't cross the line like me. You cross the line.